Okay, obviously the Skin You Slim magazine has been photoshopped to within an inch of its life, so all you see is a satin smooth poreless skin. While that's a pretty crazy standard to aspire to, you can achieve something close to it while maintaining a healthy skin in a simple routine. Hi, I'm Yerlaine Martins from Beauty by Coat and I am here to help you find the code behind your skin, so hey, welcome to my channel! Okay, first we need to understand why your pores may get larger, so we can treat the issue at its root. Generally, age plays a major factor in pores getting bigger since your skin loses um, elasticity, making your pores appear bigger than they are. It's a natural part of the aging process because your skin will start producing less collagen, but you can use things like, let's say, vitamin C to boost your collagen production. Now, sun damage also reduces collagen production, so do not, do not skip your sunscreen. It can be also due to oily skin. Hello? When there is too much oil production, well, dead skin cells and dirt get trapped in the skin, causing pores, your pores, to enlarge. Large hair follicles and genetics are other factors that play a role in enlarged pores. Okay, let me be honest, when it comes to genetics and aging, there isn't much that you can do here. Making your pores smaller is not possible, but you can do a lot to reduce their appearance. And of course, you have to start with your daily skincare routine. You've probably heard that running an ice cube or a cold jade roller over your face helps shrink your pores. The problem is that the tightening effect only lasts a few minutes until your skin gets warm again. I do that sometimes before, you know, like shooting my videos, I like putting my face on a bucket of ice, but you know, as the room warms up, well then the effect, you know, like that boost, that, that lifting and firm effect, and it doesn't last forever. I mean, even it doesn't even last like 10 minutes, I would say, maybe 20 sometimes, depending on the weather. Anyway, you've probably also seen people with those big red light LED masks, and there is no actual study, let me tell you, confirming that this helps reduce the size of your pores. Red light therapy has other benefits, but it will not reduce the size of your pores. I do have a video on red light therapy if you want to watch it before, not before, after this one. You can see longer lasting results when you make changes to your lifestyle. I know, that's boring. But you can start with a good skincare regimen. Hey, you need to cleanse your face twice a day. You need to wash your face because that will unclog your pores and reduce the oiliness. Two of the major factors that will cause enlarged pores. When doing this, you want to use room temperature or cool water since hot water will tend to, you know, inflame your pores. So you have to be gentle when rubbing your face and avoid, you know, scrubs and exfoliants or using too much product, right? Like if you are washing your face often, you want to go slowly and be gentle. Most of all, you know, you have to pick something that is very, I will say, free from the usual irritants and fragrances, especially, again, if your skin is too compromised because of, you know, maybe you are using retinol, acids, or an acne treatment. After you've done that, stop touching your face. Seriously, many of us have the habit of touching our faces all the time, but our hands come into contact with unclean surfaces all the time laptop, keyboards, dusty tables, items at the grocery stores, I mean like it never ends. And hey, even when you've got a stubborn pimple or if you want to remove a blackhead, don't do it. The bacteria in your fingers can easily seep into your skin and then you know what comes next. What else? You need to use a good sunscreen. UV and pollution can break down collagen in your skin. Uh, making your pores uh, seem more prominent. So I would say just go for a non-shiny formula with a minimum of a 30 SPF and you're good to go. 
If what you're looking is to minimize your pore size a little faster, you might want to lay off the shimmery makeup. When you wear, you know, like glittery makeup, it just highlights your pores. And if they are a little bit big, they appear huge. So keep shimmery makeup to areas that have small pores already, like your cheekbones, your forehead, or maybe, you know, close to the um, hair line, because this will draw attention to the smoothest parts of your face. And of course, hydration is key. Make sure that you are drinking lots of water throughout your day because you want to flush out the toxins. I mean, I have the impression that I say this in every single video. I'm sorry about that. I hope you're doing it though. Um, what else? As far as lifestyle goes, if you make these changes, you will see a major improving improvement in, I would say, two or three weeks. But there are ways to accelerate the process. And that's where products and treatments come in. Hmm. Okay, when it comes to treatments and products, chemical peels do a great job. It will help you get rid of your dead skin cells from the surface of your skin and cleaning everything out, helping your pores appear smaller. Chemical peels use alpha or beta hydroxy acids and they will boost your collagen production, darling. Yes! When buying peels, make sure that you look for ingredients like glycolic acid or salicylic acid, depending on your skin type. I have videos on acids because you need to pick the right for you. You can use an over-the-counter peel once every two weeks. You can also go for toners and serums that have these ingredients. If you are completely new to acids, go, you know, start with a toner and then move your way to a serum. And speaking of serums, everyone swears by retinol serums for fighting acne and signs of aging. Like um, hydroxy acids, they clear out dead skin cells and unclog pores, helping helping you, you know, with a better to have a better cell turnover. If you're doing this, make sure that you use retinol at night, since that's the time it does its best work. Wearing it in daylight makes your skin more sensitive to the sun, so you may suffer sun damage, especially if you are not very consistent with your sunscreen. Of course, you can start by applying retinol two times a week and slowly you can uh, go up to a daily use if that's what you feel you need. When it comes to retinol, the options are endless. Uh, the first retinol serum is formulated with a blend of uh, bakuchul and encapsulated retinol. So it's a slow release and encourage better absor absorption. absorption. My goodness. Did you get that? In any case, it's very gentle. It has anti-inflammatory in ingredients. And I think that if, if it's, this is your first time using uh, retinol, this is a good option. So you can start, you know, like tasting the waters. What else? Clay. Clay masks are another safe way to minimize pores since they unclog your pores without, you know, pulling out the oil in your skin too much. Yes, oil build up makes your pores look five times bigger but you cannot get rid of all your oil because then you have dry skin. You don't want to have dry skin. Now, there's a beautiful option that is expensive, but it will accelerate the process and that is laser therapy. I wouldn't suggest doing this like right off the bat because changes in lifestyle will promise uh, longer lasting results and you can start doing it, you know, like you can start now. But if you have tried everything, you can speak to a dermatologist about laser therapy treatments to help resurface your skin. I've said this in many videos before, I've done laser for my C-section uh, scar and it works like magic. Very painful, but it works like magic. Uh, when it comes to your pores, basically the laser will exfoliate the top layer of your skin and encourage collagen production. You will have um, like a few sessions before you can see the difference, um, but it's best, you know, if you can schedule for sessions. They will tell you, by the way, between I think it's four to uh, every four or eight weeks in between. But here is the best advice I can give you about reducing the appearance of your pores. And it's a big one. Are you ready for this? This is a bonus tip. Just step back from the freaking mirror. 
We tend to fixate on our poor size and we look at them in those magnifying mirrors and then we think our pores are huge, gigantic. It's just a matter of perspective. There is nothing wrong with having large pores. And by the way, you can also use a primer that will erase your pores. They are wonderful. Um, so that's an option. I tend to use pore uh, how it's called, pore freshenal, pore minimizing primer from a Benefit Cosmetics. Uh, yeah, so makeup is a good option. Now, I cannot give you makeup advice, but you know, I try my best and so you can. Thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate you very much. Uh, bye for now, gorgeous.